Hello friends, I'm very thankful that we can come to you with this special presentation. I'm here with a friend, Dr. Neil Nedley, who is the president of the Weimar Institute, as well as an internist and a specialist in uh, how to prevent getting disease and build up your immune system. As we all know, Dr. Nedley, the, uh, the news has been filled, it's been ubiquitous, talking about the coronavirus and the uh, COVID-19. Right. And people are wondering, uh, you know, what can they do? What practical things can we do? It doesn't look like it's leaving the news cycle because new cases are being found. As of the time of this recording, a school just south of us here in Sacramento was closed down. Even though there were no local cases, they closed down the school. Six million people quarantined in Italy. Uh, there may be still millions quarantined in China. The word we're hearing is that folks might just expect that it's going to continue to spread. So I want to thank you for joining us today. But if, if I'm uh, correct, there is at this point no um, imminent vaccine or no immediate vaccine available. That's correct. It won't be for at least a year. So yeah, unlike the flu virus, uh, nothing you can do to get vaccinated on this one. Just covering some of the common questions that are coming in, uh, this is a similar virus to a flu virus. I guess it comes from a family of viruses that are of similar nature. But would you say that the uh, COVID-19 is more or less contagious than the common flu? Seems to be a little more uh, transmissible. You know, the average uh, individual with the flu um, will transmit it to uh, a little more than one person on average. And uh, the average person with coronavirus is transmitting it to a little more than two. So it makes it a little more transmissible, probably double the transmission rate. Now, if I understand right, you and I were talking off air, you said that part of that might be because um, some people have it and they're not showing serious symptoms, but they are carrying it and they don't know. Exactly. And that's what, this is why this virus is going to spread. You know, unlike SARS or Ebola, where virtually everybody got sick and you could contain it and, you know, contain those sick people, 80% of people getting this virus are not really getting that sick. Maybe a mild cold, maybe a sore throat and it goes away, or maybe no symptoms at all. A lot of people with healthy immune systems, they have no symptoms at all, but yet they're transmitting the virus unknowingly. And so uh, that makes it tough. Uh, only uh, less than 20% actually get sick enough to seek care, mm -hmm. you know, and go to a hospital. And those are individuals normally that have the pneumonia. And that's, of course, much more serious because the pneumonia can go into acute respiratory distress syndrome. And that's why the deaths are occurring. And then the, from what I've seen is compared to, I know a lot of people every year die from the common flu because it's pretty much everywhere. But with the uh, coronavirus, they say it, it may be as high as like 2.3% or 3%. They're still gathering figures, uh, death rate. Right. Yeah, and it's probably going to be less than that because that's figures on the ones that are known cases. That's and right. And just kind of like I mentioned, since so many are not actually coming down with many symptoms and they haven't been tested, um, the death rate of coronavirus is probably going to be less than that. But we do think at this time that the death rates are probably higher than the flu. Now... Since there is no um, immediate cure or vaccine for this, people are wondering, well, if it comes to a neighborhood near you, uh, which what I'm hearing is they're figuring eventually it is going to continue to spread. Yeah. That if it comes to a neighborhood near you, um, you know, what can you do? Uh, well, for one thing, will, will the summer season help slow the spread as, you know, flu season, I guess, is typically worse in the winter. We expect it will probably slow in the summer because of the heat and all of the sunlight. You know, sunlight is antiviral, and of course, sunlight helps our immune system with vitamin D. And just like the flu um, goes away in the summertime, many experts are thinking this will likely occur. Although, since it's a novel virus, uh, we're not absolutely sure until mm -hmm. time does occur. You know, that's an excellent segue. Uh, your specialty is at the Institute um, teaching a program that's world famous right now called New Start, which is talking about certain natural things a person can do to improve their immunity and improve their health overall. Exactly. Why don't you explain what New Start is real quick? Well, New Start is an acronym uh, that uh, Weimar has trademarked, and it's very easy to remember these eight principles that have been shown to be very immune enhancing. Uh, proper nutrition is the N, the E is exercise, the W is water, 
which is being talked a lot about in the coronavirus. Uh, the S is sunlight. The T is temperance. That means avoiding things that are harmful to the immune system, like alcohol and tobacco. Uh, the A is air. And of course, um, fresh air is a great way not to get the virus. There's virtually no cases um, spread you know, out, outdoors. Uh, and then R is rest, uh, proper rest, which means getting enough sleep. And then T is trust and divine power, which is actually shown to also be immune enhancing. So if we have eight of these principles together, uh, we can expect uh, that our immune system will make us one of the ones, if we're exposed to it, one of the ones with no symptoms or maybe just mild symptoms. Yeah, well, that's very encouraging. So there's a chance we could be in that uh, 70 or 80 percent that may be exposed. Now, now, if a person is exposed to coronavirus and they're able to resist it, they're developing, if I'm not mistaken, certain antibodies that help prevent them in the future. Exactly. Yeah, those antibodies uh, will be protective of them in the future, and that's actually better than getting the vaccine when you've gotten the real thing and your body's fought it off. Now, we were talking, some of these viruses that uh, are, are spreading, you know, some folks are saying, well, was this, you know, a, a bioweapon that the Chinese or somebody was developing? And I think that the... Uh, uh, general belief is no, this has happened before with these viruses mutating and they're being caught from animals. Correct. But not just any animals, typically animals the Bible would normally tell us are unclean animals. Exactly. That's why God uh, told us to stay away from these was to prevent epidemics in nations and throughout the world. And so virtually every epidemic, whether it was the SARS virus, Ebola, AIDS, they all have the signature that they started from actually eating unclean meat. And because we're an unclean animal, we spread that readily. So this is why if we can get infection from a cow, we might die from that, but we're not going to spread it mm -hmm. uh, to other human beings. And so uh, the uh, eating unclean meat is really unresponsible because if you get an infection from unclean meat, you're going to readily spread that to other humans who are actually innocent. You know, they're, they're not eating that. And of course, we can trace it to the actual supermarket and the person who first contracted this from unclean animals. And in coronavirus case, it was a bat. Now, when we talk about the, um, some of the things that people can do, uh, you know, there's been some practical information given, of course, I guess the same things that you would follow when it comes to the common flu is be more careful with the washing, sanitizing, avoid certain congested places, especially if you're in an area that uh, has been uh, identified as, you know, where there's community spread. Mm -hmm. But so there's things we can do to increase our immune system by following the New Start principles. Yeah, the nutrition, uh, antioxidant foods. Your high antioxidant foods um, in vegetables and in fruit will actually help us. So these are your cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, uh, Brussels sprouts, and the greens are very potent in antioxidants. Spinach, um, kale is the number two antioxidant vegetable, and the number one is garlic. And garlic even has some very strong antiviral um, activity and can even uh, take care of viruses itself, plus it can help our immune system. Uh, with that. And the fruits are going to be primarily your berries and the, and the whole um, fruit that actually has the most antioxidants um, that are not berries is the simple plum. And so uh, these are uh, things that can actually uh, protect our immune system and help us fight these things off. You know, I'm so glad that you've come in to share this with us. There are a lot of different videos going out around about the coronavirus where people are selling uh, health supplements and things at exorbitant prices. And we're doing this to let people know there's free things <laughs> exactly. that you can do that God's provided in his word. Right. Now, you did say there's one thing you might buy over the counter at a typical drugstore that could help boost your immune system. Yeah, a New England Journal did a study on the flu um, three weeks ago uh, that was published showing it, that if you take N-acetylcysteine, and of course, this is a natural antioxidant that boosts our glutathione. It's very cheap. You can get it in any drugstore or pharmacy. Two of those pills a day, which is 1,200 milligrams. If you're exposed to the flu, three out of four that were taking the NAC developed zero symptoms and developed antibodies against it. And that's, that's 
off the charts in regards to anything else. In fact, it's better than the flu vaccine <laughs> uh, itself by helping our own immune system uh, do that. And it's pretty simple. It raises our glutathione levels and helps us in other ways too. That's good. And so what's the name of it again, if they just go to the counter? Yeah, N-acetylcysteine will be called NAC, because that's what it stands for, N-A-C. So it's really uh, easy to remember, NAC. Very good. Now, if people want to know more about the New Start principles to help boost their immune system, and there's other health, many other health benefits, the website? Yeah, uh, newstart.com. It's pretty easy. So newstart.com, and you can get a lot more information. And we've got something exciting for those that are watching. Uh, you know, we're not, everything here, we're providing free information so that people can get the, the truth out that there was a magazine that uh, Weimar printed in cooperation with Amazing Facts a few years ago, and it's dealing with the New Start principles. And I think Dr. Nedley contributed to this. It's called Amazing Health Facts, Eight Bible Secrets to a Longer and a Stronger Life. Anybody that wants a free copy of this, if you want to know how you can boost your immune system and just other ways of uh, improving your health, you get it for free and we hope you'll pass it on to your friends. Well, anything else you want to add, Dr. Nedley, about um, you know, what we might keep in mind with what's happening? People are afraid, so should we be afraid? Or? Well, I don't think there's really a reason to fear if our immune systems are good and we're healthy. Now, if we're unhealthy and we have something definitely suppressing our immune system, that might be a reason to stay inside and stay more isolated if it's out and about in the community. Uh, but uh, for those of us who have healthy immune systems, and not that we're out there asking to come in contact with it so we develop our vaccine and antibodies, we still need to wash our hands. If we're putting our hands up to our face, they need, those hands need to be washed immediately beforehand. If you mess up and you don't do that, I would recommend you carry around a little zinc lozenge because zinc is toxic to the coronavirus on contact. So if you happen to oh, wow, I just touched my face and I touched this surface over here. And if, you know, if it's infected, I'm doomed. No, zinc is toxic uh, to the virus on contact and those little zinc coldies or other zinc lozenges can be helpful. Exercise, aerobic exercise. The water therapy that is best is actually the contrast baths. When you end with cold, it is an immune stimulator. And so if you, in the morning, instead of just taking your hot shower, just alternate hot and cold. And with cold for a minute, and you'll warm up again right away, and that's very immune enhancing. Uh, of course, the S for sunlight, um, the T for temperance, the A for fresh air, the R for rest, and the T for trust in God. If you have all those eight principles, I'm not really worried about you if you were to come in contact with the coronavirus with the precautions that we've talked about, and uh, we can still be a very positive influence in the world. But it does underscore the need that New Start needs to go viral. Yeah. You know, because <laughs> that's, that's our principles. protection. Yeah. Following the principles God gave us for uh, natural healing and health, and they're all outlined in God's word as well. Exactly. And I like that last T, especially trust. Yes. You know, God doesn't want us to live in fear. He wants us to live in faith. Thank you so much. We appreciate your coming in. Folks, we hope this is helpful. And don't neglect, take a look at the newstart.com website and remember to download the free magazine.